Digital Walkers. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Definitely this March has not been easy. Um, a lot of people have been getting blisters, getting their feet taped, and, and every day it seems like more people are just kind of limping around the camp. <laughs> So I just made it to the city of Nijmegen. And if you've been following our channel, then you probably know why I'm here. So I'm participating in the Nijmegen Ruck March, also called the Four Days March. But this is the largest marching event in the world. Uh, over 6,000 military personnel will be participating in this and over 45,000 civilians. Uh, so I am doing this as a military personnel and basically uh, for four days I will be doing 40 kilometers each day. So I will be marching with a 10 kilogram pack each day and there are people from over 60 different countries uh, that come and participate in this event. So all in the hopes of earning the Nijmegen Cross. So I've been training for this since the beginning of this year and I've completed several other ruck marches that were shorter distances, but this is the first time that I will be attempting to do four days consecutive of rucking um, of 40 kilometers. So I've heard that the hardest part about this march is that since it's four consecutive days, it's really important to try to prevent getting blisters. Because once you get blisters, they're not going away. It only makes the ruck even harder. So that's gonna be the main thing about this march. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. This is a, a really big event, and supposedly this is a ton of fun. There's uh, so many people that come out to cheer you on, and there's always big crowds and big like celebrations and festivities and stuff like that and so the atmosphere here is supposedly just really great so i'm really looking forward to doing this and bringing you guys along to see what this nijmegen ruck march is all about so for this event you can participate as an individual or as a team uh, so i signed up as an individual but uh, some people from my unit are doing it as a team, so I'm gonna be trying to walk with them during this event. So behind me is the entrance to Camp uh, Women's Sword, which is where all of the military people will be staying. So this is where I will be staying throughout the duration of this event. Basically, this is the camp where all the military people are, and we're gonna be staying in uh, basically like tents with bunk beds and they provide a like a dining hall and shower facilities and all that stuff like that um, so for registration it was 480 euros and that covers the lodging all the food and the award uh, for this event so today is sunday and the march officially starts on tuesday so today is just the day to register and check in and get uh situated and then tomorrow there's different opening ceremonies and events and stuff like that going on before the official start on Tuesday. So I just I just registered and I got two things. First thing I got was uh, this card. So this is the card for each day. You will get uh, a certain number of stamps or hole punches uh, at different control points. So that shows uh, you've actually you're, you were on the route and you went to the right uh, the right locations just making sure no one's cheating and then also got uh, the QR code wristband so this is uh, each person has their own wristband so at those control points they also scan this or they scan uh, your wristband at the beginning and end and that is what validates that you have actually uh, started and completed the march each day in the allotted time so um, it's very uh, high tech and that's pretty cool since they have so many people here. So next, let's go see where I'm staying. Sleeping room was assigned to a team and each room had 16 bunk beds. So behind me is the dining facility. Just got dinner and it was actually surprisingly really good. I didn't know how good it was gonna be, you know, since it's kind of like a, a military event. Sometimes army food is not that good, but 
they have uh, caterers that provide the food for this and it was actually really good it's like a buffet you can get all, all that you want uh, so definitely if you leave hungry it's your own fault so behind me is the marquee tent this is uh, basically like the party tent so every every night this is open they have a DJ and tonight they're going to be playing the Euro Cup finals so I'm pretty sure everyone is going to come here hang out watch the game and it's also a good place to get uh, drinks and they do have food and stuff you can buy you just come hang out and meet some different service members from different countries so I think that's really cool nice place for everyone just to relax after each day's March so here at the March they uh, also have a hospital like a little clinic so if you need to get any medical treatment for your feet or you start to feel sick or anything like that you can come to uh, this hospital or this little this field hospital um, and they do have sick call hours so uh, I've heard sometimes the blisters here can get pretty gnarly so that's why it's really important to take care of your feet to help prevent those from occurring and this hospital does stay open pretty late and opens up early before uh, the ruck marsh each day yeah my goal is to not have to go here because definitely don't want to uh, get hurt or get injured so we just had our informational meeting and looks like for being an individual uh, we will be starting at 4 30 a.m on tuesday to step off so this means i'm gonna have to get up super early and so i really need to make sure that i get to bed early this week so that way i have enough energy to uh, do this march successfully um, and also found out that each day there will be three stops that have food and water for us to um, to have and all that food is included from our registration so that's nice hopefully we don't have to pack as much snacks and stuff but I think right now we're getting ready to head down uh, head into the town of Nijmegen supposedly it's like a big festival down there right now and tonight there's going to be fireworks So the bus from the camp takes you straight to the train station here in Nijmegen. So now we're going to walk around and just kind of check out what's going on. So we ended up stopping and getting some fries and now we're waiting for the fireworks to start. But so far I have been really impressed with downtown Nijmegen. We've had a great time just checking out the live music and walking around and just seeing all the, the people out. And it's been a really good atmosphere, it's been really fun. So now we made it to the bridge and we're just waiting for the fireworks to start. So just made it back to the camp and I decided to stop by the, uh, the party tent just to see how it was going. It's 11.30 at night and I'll show you what was going on there. So good morning, today is Monday and this is the day before the march. So I slept very well last night. It was pretty loud, but luckily I had earplugs. So if you come and do this, make sure to bring earplugs and a face mask to help help you sleep. Uh, so today they are the opening ceremonies and uh, I plan on trying to get my ruck figured out. So they told us yesterday that if you're planning on using like extra water bottles to add weight to your ruck, that, that's not a good idea because uh, they do random uh, weight checks throughout the march and they'll ask you to take out all of the water bottles. So um, luckily they have some areas around here that have containers of sand so you can fill up plastic bags with sand so that can be your um, weight to make the 10 kilograms of weight for your ruck. Um, so that's going on and 
Also, I need to charge my phone. So in the tents, they do not have any outlets to charge your phone. So there's um, a couple tents that are uh, the designated uh, charging stations. So they have a big uh, bunch of power strips that everyone is using to charge their phones and devices and power banks and stuff like that. So it is a good idea to bring power banks so that way you don't have to rely on those uh, charging stations as much and you can keep your phone and stuff charged throughout the march. So we just had our safety brief for the individual marchers. So after the safety brief, walked outside and there were a few bands that were lined up. Uh, so that was kind of cool to get to listen uh, to that, to them play. And then they marched over to close to the dining uh, facility and they all joined together and did, um, did a few songs together, like all three of the different countries. So that was pretty cool to see. Um, and so now I'm just gonna get ready for bed because I gotta get up at probably like three o'clock uh, to be able to get ready and start and step off at 4.30. Okay, so good morning. It is Tuesday. Today is the first day of the march. So I woke up at about 2.45. That's whenever everyone else's alarm started going off. So couldn't really sleep in much longer. Um, but today is the first day of the march. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get in line and get some uh, get, get some breakfast to go. Um, but I have to scan in my wristband um, at like 4:10 to 4:15, and then step off for individuals today is 4:30. And then supposedly every morning at 3:30, uh, the Dutch play a, a wake-up song, and then the lights in all of the sleeping tents come on. So can't really sleep in much longer than that. But um, so far today I'm feeling pretty good, feeling pretty uh, fresh and ready to go. So hopefully uh, we'll see how, how this event goes. So I got to, the, got to the dining hall at about 3.50 and the line was extremely long. So if you're one of the first people that are stepping off, you probably should get to the dining hall before 3.30, probably like 3 o'clock would be the best time. Breakfast is basically like just like bread, meats and cheeses, yogurt, cereal, stuff like that. Uh, they do have bags you can make sandwiches and take take it to go with you for the um, for during the ruck. Um, so that's what a lot of people were doing. That uh, I think tomorrow I'll try to get up a little bit earlier to get here to uh, have some have some breakfast or, or pack my lunch or something. We are about to start the 106th edition of the international four day marches. This year, Camp Hermesort will pay special attention to the 80th anniversary of Operation Market Garden. Market Garden was a risky plan of British Field Marshal Bernard Montgomery. The operation consisted of two parts. Operation Market was the airborne operation to secure key bridges across the Maas, Waal and Rhine rivers. Garden was the name of the ground offensive in which the British 30th Corps would have to relieve the airborne forces as soon as possible. Every day you will find more information about Operation Market Garden in the Camp Heumsoort app on Instagram and other social media. Back to today. The first day is the day of Elst and also called Blue Tuesday. You walk north across the bridge over the river Waal into the beautiful Overbeto region between the rivers Waal and Rhein. When you return to Camp Hermesort, you will meet a special delegation of Dutch veterans. The veterans will be joined by the Guard of Honor of the Regiment van Heuts. The veterans will salute from you from where I am standing. Of course, it would be an honor if you salute them. Moving on to today's weather. 
Blue Tuesday might be a bit rainy, but the temperature will rise to approximately 20 degrees. Each day your departure is provided with music. Today's music is played by the Lowland and Highland bands of the Roger Regiment of Scotland. Marchers, have a good walk and don't forget to enjoy yourselves. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the two marches, we will start with you. Your saluting officers are Brigadier General Dirks and Colonel Van der Haag. Individual walkers, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. What's up? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, let's go. So this morning I started with the individuals and then I waited up for um, the team that's from my unit so that way I can walk with them because they were starting uh, like shortly after the individual started. So now I'm just gonna walk with them for the rest of today. We just made it into downtown, or starting to the downtown of Nijmegen, and so it's definitely a very lively uh, crowd, a really great atmosphere, lots of people singing songs, cheering, clapping, giving out free coffee and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's really cool. So I just made it to the first uh, military rest stop. So the U.S. Is, is situated with the British forces. So we share rest stops and we share uh, food and drink and water and stuff like that. So right now we're just gonna probably break for maybe 20, 30 minutes and take a rest, change out socks, and then we'll keep on going. So we're about halfway and we just had our first control point. So the teams had to get together and they had to count each person on the team and the individuals had to give their punch card to get that punch. So there could be up to six control points today. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But so far, feeling great. Um, I think we're close to halfway done. Uh, we've had perfect weather so far this morning. It's been nice and cool. Lots of people handing out candy and snacks and pretzels and stuff like that. So it's been really fun, just the energy here, the atmosphere is energetic, it's so fun, it's great. So we just had our second uh, rest area today. Uh, so today there are three rest stops. 
The first one had cold food, like breakfast stuff. This one we just had had hot food. They had some type of like chicken pasta dish. And there should be one more rest stop uh, in about six miles. And then that'll be the last one for today. So we're over halfway done. Thinking we'll probably finish by maybe like 1600. So, but we'll see, still feeling pretty good. And uh, we're keeping a good time. Made it to the last rest area for today, and now it's starting to rain. So today was supposedly the only day that it was supposed to rain, so hopefully it doesn't last too long. just made it back to the camp and what an experience man today was incredible uh, there's nothing else like this march I mean just so many people out there participating and also so many people out there cheering you on uh, giving giving free candy and, and snacks and drinks and everything like that it was just so cool so cool um, so made it back and it's 1600 so I had one hour to spare um, and so now I'm just gonna go clean up and get ready uh, and rest for tomorrow. So we got three more days of this, um, but hey, definitely that? a worthwhile experience so far. So good morning. Today is the second day of marching. Today's route is supposed to be three miles shorter. It's gonna be mainly just through the city of Nijmegen um, into the neighborhood of like Widgen or something like that. Uh, so today woke up feeling pretty good. We did get some rain that was kind of unexpected this morning So I think we may get rained on during the first hour of this march, but feeling pretty good right now Took some Tylenol and ibuprofen just to start off the day skip breakfast just kind of like I did yesterday Just got some coffee. So hopefully today's gonna be a good day and today I plan on just rucking on my own and not meeting up with uh, the rest of the team from my unit because they're starting like an hour and a half later than me. Uh, so just way, just this way, I, I can get an early start and try to get more ground covered. The route of day one took you to the area north of Nijmegen. Day two will lead you to the south. You will walk through Wiegen, situated in the region between the River Maas and the River Waal, then back to Nijmegen. The oldest city in the Netherlands with a young vibe. The pink colored city will definitely give you extra motivation. Individual marchers, it's time for you to start. Your saluting officers are Erd Mondor de Smit and Colonel van Giersbergen. So just stopped at the first military rest stop and changed out my socks, got some snacks and water. When I got there it was actually pretty empty so I guess I'm doing a lot better on time today. Uh, I'm about nine miles in so today there's only two stops. Uh, so hopefully 
um, I can make it to the next stop and change my socks one more time and then be good for the rest of the day. So we'll see. Right now I'm feeling pretty good. I've been trying to stay, stay with some of the other soldiers from different nations. I was trying to keep up with uh, some guys from Norway and some guys from Denmark. Supposedly they are uh, known for their their rucking ability. So I was trying to keep up with them, but let's see how it goes. So far today is um, pink Wednesday. So everything is decorated in pink. People are out in, in their pink uh, costumes and stuff. So it's been pretty cool. I think not quite as busy or crazy as yesterday, but still uh, a really good day. It hasn't rained anymore. It's been really cloudy and really kind of dreary looking. Hopefully the rain holds off for the rest of the day, but the weather, the temperature is perfect. So just made it to the second rest area of the day. It's 9.20 and so making a lot better time than yesterday. Uh, so this is the rest stop that has hot chow and today they got like spaghetti and meatballs. Um, and at the rest stops they also have medical stations. So if you need to get your feet uh, looked at or taped or blisters popped or things like that or just get advice, uh, they have that provided. So probably gonna spend, I think they said we have about 20 minutes at, at the rest stop just so we have enough um, so, there, so there's enough space for the other groups coming in but right now it is just me so there's like no one else here right now so um, it's pretty empty but I uh, just spent the last hour two hours um, talking with a soldier from uh, from Denmark so we rucked together and just uh, that was cool, just getting to talk to him about um, his experiences and the, the military and just uh, just life in general, being a parent, things like that. But it's been great. Uh, so that's one thing about being an individual is that you can choose to walk with whoever you want. So if you want to go by yourself, you can just to, you know kind of zone out and focus. Or if you want to walk with people from your same uh, country or people from different countries, you can do that. Um, but one downside I've noticed, so being an individual, if you start, well, first of all, you start off the first, uh, the first time, so at 4.30. Uh, and sometimes some of the towns you go through, um, they will still be setting up. So there won't be as many people out. They'll be setting up the, the grandstands or the, um, uh, like, the band won't be playing or, you know, they may, like, things like that. So... Uh, it's not as lively and not as as wild as whenever the teams come through later in, in the day. But that means there's less crowds, so you can be faster and get done faster. Um, so, but so far, it's been a good day. Um, it just drizzled a little bit. No rain right now. It is pretty cloudy, so that's good, kind of keeping the temperatures down. Um, but yeah, it's been a great day so far. I think it's gone a lot better today than yesterday.
So I made it back to Camp Human Sword. So today was much better. I think um, being able to start early and going as an individual really helped. So that way I didn't get stuck behind a lot of the civilians and, and teams that, that were rucking. Uh, but today I got to go to the bowling alley on the way back. And that is an area that's a, basically like a bowling alley and restaurant where a lot of the the soldiers will stop and hang out because it's like a mile or two miles right before the camp. So, you know, if you make it there, then you can probably make it back in time. So a lot of the groups were stopping there and just enjoying some food and drinks and having a good time. Uh, they were even like spraying water on us and throwing water balloons and stuff like that, just, just being, being fun. So that was good. I got to the bowling alley at about 11.30 and spent like two hours there just hanging out and then made it back to the camp in time. So feeling good today, um, but tomorrow's gonna be the hardest day because there are like eight or nine hills. So the train is the most challenging and is a little bit longer day, um, but hopefully it's gonna go good. And I think that's it for now. I'm gonna try to go to the, uh, the big party tent supposedly whenever some of the teams get back, then they do skits or do funny little um, dances or something like that so I'm gonna go try to check that out So good morning, today is day three, and today is supposed to be the hardest day because there are some hills on this route, um, but today I plan on actually going a little bit slower than yesterday. Yesterday I tried to push myself and get done as fast as possible, but I ended up uh, missing all of the crowds and and all, all the stuff like that. So today I'm going to try to take it slower. Um, and. I want to actually buy some of the local food and stuff because yesterday um, I saw a, a Stroopwafel stand and some other food stands like man that sounds really good but I ended up just keep on keeping on going because I didn't want to stop so today I'm going to take it slower and I plan on meeting back up with the team so I can walk with the team for most of the route today 
So I'm gonna head to the start starting area and get scanned in. Day three is the day of Groesbeek, also known as the day of the seven hills. Although it's the toughest of all marching days, it's also a beautiful route. After the start, you are leaving the city of Nijmegen and walk east towards Malden along water and through woods until the famous green hills of Groesbeek bloom in front of you. No need to be intimidated by the seven hills. The many thousands of spectators will cheer you on. At Groesbeek we shall remember and honor the fallen soldiers buried at the Canadian War Cemetery. Baras Home Guard Band from Sweden will accompany you your departure with music today. Individual marchers. <coughs> your saluting officers are Commodore Willemsen, Colonel Heukers and Professor Dr. Henning Sakkers, leader of the march. Individual walkers, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Up it! So I just stopped and got uh, some type of like puff pastry that was filled with cheese. It was really good, so I'm going to see what else I can find this morning. Before I just all over you. Morning. Morning. So we just stopped and got an apple flat. I've been seeing uh, signs for that while I've been walking the past few days, and it was great. So it's just like a like an apple um, apple turnover or like an apple uh, strudel, but it was great, really good. Stopped at the second military rest stop, and today it is so much hotter than yesterday, so it's really starting to drain our energy. And so now we have we're over halfway there, I think we got about 14 kilometers left, um, but it's gonna be a long, a long end. We just stopped at the last military rest point for today. It is definitely heating up, so we got to make sure we're staying hydrated. I think we got about seven miles left in about three hours or three and a half hours. So uh, hopefully, it should be good. This next part, we're going to be going through uh, more of the hills. So definitely, uh, probably the hardest day so far.
So today we made it back to camp at about uh, 1600. We had like one hour to spare. Definitely took us a lot longer today than the previous days. Um, and today it was so hot. So uh, in fact, it was so hot that tomorrow they uh, decreased the weight requirement. So there's no weight requirement for tomorrow. Um, so they recommended to still bring your rucksack, but um, just have the essentials. So like water, snacks, socks, sunscreen, stuff like that. Um, and tomorrow is going to be the longest day of the week. It should be, I think, actually close to 50 kilometers. And that includes uh, the end where after we get our pin, um, then we continue to the Via Gladiola, where we go through like almost like a parade through the town. Uh, and all the people are cheering, and that's like the big uh, finale for this week. So looking forward to that tomorrow. So far, everyone from... Our team has made it this far, and so I have no doubt that everyone will be able to finish tomorrow. Definitely this march has not been easy. Um, a lot of people have been getting blisters, getting their feet taped, and, and every day seems like more people are just... Definitely this march has not been easy. Um, a lot of people have been getting blisters, getting their feet taped, and, and every day seems like more people are just kind of limping around the camp. Um, so it's definitely a, a difficult thing to be able to ruck back to back every single day. And also, you're not really getting a ton of sleep either because um, a lot of times there there's music and stuff going on until about 11 o'clock at night, and then you turn around and get up at... Uh, 3.30 in the morning and then tomorrow we're getting up at 2.30 in, in the morning because we're stepping off at 3.30. So little sleep, a lot of physical exertion, um, but it is definitely a very memorable experience for sure. I've had a wonderful time meeting uh, some of the other um, service members from different countries and especially towards the end, end of the week people like to trade uh, patches or trade uh, different items. So today I was trading some patches with some um, soldiers from Spain and some guys from Sweden and so that, that's been really cool. Uh, and tomorrow looking forward to just the big finale. Uh, I've really enjoyed um, going through all the towns and everyone just being so positive. Everyone just having a good time and cheering and dancing and all the, the music. And so it just really is there's nothing like it. This is a one-of-a-kind experience. And if you are considering doing the, the Nijmegen, I would definitely recommend it. You have to make sure you sign up as soon as the registration opens uh, because that's how I got a spot this year. Last year I tried to register, but all the spots were taken. So you pretty much have to register as soon as possible or else you'll be put on like a, a waiting list, kind of limping around the camp. Um, so it's definitely a, a difficult thing to be able to ruck back to back every single day and also you're not really getting a ton of sleep either because um, a lot of times there there's music and stuff going on until about 11 o'clock at night and then you turn around and get up at uh, 3.30 in the morning and then tomorrow we're getting up at 2.30 in, in the morning because we're stepping off at 3.30. So little sleep, a lot of physical exertion. Um, but it is definitely a very memorable experience for sure. I've had a wonderful time meeting uh, some of the other um, service members from different countries and especially towards the en end of the week people like to trade uh, patches or trade uh, different items. So today I was trading some patches with some um, soldiers from Spain and some guys from Sweden and so that, that's been really cool. Uh, and tomorrow, looking forward to just the big finale. Uh, I've really enjoyed um, going through all the towns and everyone just being so positive. Everyone just having a good time and cheering and dancing and all the, the music. And so it just really is, there's nothing like it. This is a one of a kind experience. And if you are considering doing the, the Nijmegen, I would definitely recommend it. You have to make sure you sign up as soon as the registration opens. Uh, because that's how I got a spot this year. Last year I tried to register, but all the spots were taken. So you pretty much have to register as soon as possible or else you'll be put on like a, a waiting list. But I think that's it for now. I'm going to go ahead and get ready for bed. And, and that's it. So good morning. Today is day four. Today is the last day of the Ruck March. It is um, 
about 315 just scanned in my wristband and getting ready to step off here here in a few minutes today I am woke up I was feeling so sore um, my feet were really hurting but after I got dressed got my pack situated got some coffee I'm feeling so much better and I'm really just excited to get going I just want to get there and get to the end and just see all of the all of the the party that's going on all the people all the cheering um, but so far today, uh, it's been a great experience and I'm just looking forward to just wrapping it up Good morning home resorts today is the grand final the fourth and last marching day is about to start marching on Via Gladiola is a feeling you can't describe but first you walk south, leave Nijmegen and head for Kuik. In Kuik you will cross the river of Maas by using the famous pontoon bridge. Military engineers built this bridge especially for the four days marches. After the river crossing you will head for Charlemagne. This is where you will receive your well-deserved medal. Walkers, be aware. Finnish reg registration and Charlemagne is open not earlier than 1100 hours. Today's music will be performed by the Dutch regiments van Varen, Garde and Grenadiers and Jagers. Enough said, Via Gladiola is waiting for you. Individual marches, are you ready? Yay! Your saluting officers are Brigadier General Keijer, Colonel Makers and Field Colonel Berding. Individual walkers. Attention! Forward! March! So, so far today, day four is going great. I just stopped at uh, this restaurant here and got some uh, cherry pie and a coffee and I'm definitely trying to get as much, um, uh, go as many miles as I can this morning before it starts to get hot. Uh, so I think right now I'm at close to uh, six miles. I think we have one more mile until the first military rest stop. So just made it to the first military rest point. Now I just regrouped with the rest of the team. So I'm gonna continue on. Feeling pretty good right now. It's still nice and cool. So I'll try to get after it.
passed. Oh, he was part of the team. He is a part of our team. Hell yeah. In every, every meaningful way. And I am the yeah, way. deeply indebted to all of you guys. So thank you so much. Hell yeah. Though. Yeah. So I just finished the march and just got my medal. So it was an incredible experience, but it was not easy. This is a very tough march. It seems like every single day you wake up and something else is sore, something else is tired or, or hurting. So, but each day uh, it was it was just so worth it to be able to see all the crowds and the people cheering, and that just made it a lot more fun. So after getting our ribbons, next we're going to walk. Uh, it's about five kilometers from where we receive the ribbons to or through the Via um, Gladiola through. The, uh, downtown and that's where all of the uh, the big crowds are and that's where uh, all that is going on so right now we're just going to form up and then march downtown So thanks for following along with my experience here in Nijmegen at the Four Days March. It truly is an experience like none other. It is definitely um, some wonderful memories. It was very hard, but it was very fun at the same time. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.